Ms. Ward, according to the, your complaint, you and Mr. Knoll own property that is adjacent to each other. Yes, ma'am, we do. And Mr. Knoll, according to what I read, you don't live there, but you rent it to people who keep horses. It is Ms. Ward's claim that the horses that are kept on your property have done damage to her fence. How long have you owned the property, Mr. Knoll? Since 2012. And how long have you been there, Ms. Ward? 2010. When did these renters move in with their horses? October 1st, 2016. Prior to that, who was living there? They don't live there, Your Honor. They just use the land for their horses? Yes. Okay. Now, I would like you to tell me how these new tenants who have been there since October of 2016 on his property have damaged your fence. Okay, when I moved there in 2010, I fenced and cross-fenced my three acres. On the other three sides of my property, the fence is not damaged. On this particular property line, the fence has become so damaged that it's bubbled in sections. There's two to three feet of erosion taking place. So you're not suggesting that he did anything or his tenant did anything to purposefully damage that one quarter of the fence that you put in on your property? No. That whatever damage was done was done by virtue of, and you're going to show me, by virtue of the horses grazing too close to the fence. Is that correct? That's correct, as well as the ignorance of how to feed and pasture horses correctly. Well, do you feed and pasture horses? My one horse, yes, I do. Well, that's one horse. And one horse does not an expert make. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Good. So, whatever damage you are alleging is alleging as a result of horses grazing. Okay. Now, do you have pictures of what the fence looked like in 2016 when these tenants moved in? No. So the only pictures you have are current pictures? Of current pictures that go back to 2017. Okay. Now, you bought the property in 2010. Yes. And you put up a fence. Do you have pictures of the fence when you put it up? No. So the only pictures that you have to show me are current pictures with the current tenant and you have no information with regard to whose horses caused the damage to that property in photographs? No. Okay, now I'll take a look at the pictures. Here's a picture of the horse pushing, 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 more could damage. I, could I just see the pictures of the fence that you are complaining about? That one. That's what horses do. What I'm asking you, sir, is I want you to take a look at this picture. And what the plaintiff is complaining about is that because the horses who are eating on your property are eating so close to the fence and pushing the fence, her dogs, which is why she fenced in the property, I assume, is able to get out from under the property. And it appears to me in this picture that that's as a result of there being no grass for them to eat except in her yard, which is what they're trying to get to. Is that what you're seeing? You can show um, us too. I got some pictures too, and even that one, if you look at it, when you look at the um, pictures up close, as you can see in this picture, even the horse's nose is not under the fence. Doesn't that, matter. That fence, that the first picture that I looked at, when you look at it closely, you can see claw marks where her dog has scurried underneath. And I got some really good pictures that indicate the fence is rolled towards my property. Actually, that's exactly what I see in this picture. What kind of dogs do you have? I have a Great Dane and... Okay, your Great Dane pushed this fence in towards his property. No. Well, I'm telling you, I'm looking at this picture, and I don't see how the horse pulled the fence onto his property. I'm telling you. Did you show her that picture, Bird? I'm looking at that picture, and there is no question in my mind that the fence was pushed in onto his property from your property. Now, that may have been as a result of the erosion mm -hmm. on the other side, his horses didn't pull the fence onto his property. Mm -hmm. Your Great Dane pushed through the fence, which was made possible because they ate that close to the fence so there was no natural barrier. And in a neighborly fashion, what you should do is, if you want to keep your Great Dane on your property, build a better fence. This Ward, build a better fence. He's not paying for a new fence. We're done. Thank you.